Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our third video in swatch series, which is of course green. Not that you'd really be able to tell by my makeup, but I did use green eyeliner, so I've done a little bit of green. Anyway, today we're going to be swatching pretty green things and we're not going to fanny around, we're just going to jump in because we're just here for pretty swatches and to look at green things, aren't we? So let's jump in now. This first one will not be a shock. Um, this is my Barry M Holographic Eyeshadow Topper in Supernova. In my purple video, I swatched the purple one, in the blue one, the blue one, and now we're onto the green one. This is probably my most used one. I've gone through, I think, three of these. This is my third one. They are cheap, they are great, they are very pretty. They're more metallic than glittery. In fact, they're not glittery, they're metallic. And they're more duochrome, so this green kind of shifts purpley blue. It's gorgeous. I think you all need to try the Barry M toppers if you've never tried them. Please just take a punt on them, 4 99 and I don't think you'll be disappointed. Trust me, I have never been disappointed. The only thing that disappoints me is that they do, I feel like you finish them up quite quickly. But apart from that, excellent. This next one is not a favourite formula, but I'm pointing it out because I know a lot of people do love this formula, and I do think this colour story is gorgina. This is the Huda Beauty Metal and Matte, and mine is in the shade Gold Chains and Limelight, so I'll obviously swatch it. Like I said, it's not my favourite formula because I do find that it cracks on me. Um, I need to kind of play with these a bit more. I've got heaps of them, um, but the, the lime shade on this is truly stunning and I think the only way I really use these is like the glittery side and this one's fine or the matte side on my lower lash line is really pretty. These are pretty expensive but if you're willing to try them and you trust other reviews then definitely give them a go because the colours are literally lush and this one is just really really cool and I do love this lime green matte side and then the glitter is a bit maybe more golden toned but over the top wow is it not just stunning I'm sure you agree with me because if you disagree with me we can't be friends next up is a Stila I'm pretty sure I've put a Stila in all of these videos as well maybe not the blue one actually I can't remember this is Stila Mint Myth this is one of their like little white lies um, mit what is it, a glittering glow? It says liquid eyeshadow. I, I think it must be a glittering glow, not a metallic and glow, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is a mint shade. I think compared to the first two swatches, it's coming off slightly more blue, but it is definitely green. And these are really pretty for doing like cut creases because they're very kind of white pearl based with just like a reflect of the color. I really like these little white lies one on my inner corner as well. I've got, I think, three of these. And I think they are stunning. I do prefer the kind of regular glitter and glow though to the little white lies on the whole because they've got more colour behind them. This is more just like a sheen of stunning mintness. And I think if you like the kind of makeup I like, you'd like that. This is a product that I love and I bought all of mine on Beauty Bay. I don't think Beauty Bay still have them. They're the LA Splash Lumos liners and these are excellent. So on one side you've got a black liner. I'm doing quite a thick chunky line but you can use it really fine as well and do like a really small wing if you wanted and then on the other side it's got like a liquidy glittery metallic formula the blue one of this is definitely my favorite but it's pretty much run out but this green one is stunning it's called illusion and i think if you want to buy these you'll have to go to the la splash website which is a bit annoying if you're in the uk but holy macaroni have i gotten so much use out of these over the past couple of years i love them to death i think they are truly stunning like i said the blue one if you can get your hands on that please do it is probably the most beautiful thing i've ever seen in my life one of anyway but this green one is just gorgeous it's purely gorgeous they weren't even that expensive when i got them on beauty bay which i quite i think they're like 11 pounds or something which i don't think is that bad for like a double-ended stunning product this one is a multi-chrome pigment i did a video on this this is the blush tribe Blush Tribe Multi-Chrome Pigment in the shade Forest. I'm swatching it with a brush just because I don't want to stick my finger in the pot. I've just got big fat fingers. Um, and I'm swatching it wet just to get the full pigmentation to show you. But it is a multi-chrome so it reflects heaps and heaps of different colours. It's really beautiful. I do love it. I'm thinking Blush Tribe might be shutting down or either that or they're having a big sale. Someone posted about it in the Patreon group that I think it was a closing down sale. But anyway, have a look at their multi-chromes because they are very, very pretty. I don't really reach for it that much just because it is such a look and I have to be committed to be doing a green look. I think you'll really like them. They're not too expensive either. 
for multi-chromes when multi-chromes can be like notoriously super expensive. And last up for the kind of glittery, liquidy, non palette type products will not be a shock. Urban Decay Distortion. Thank you Amanda for sending me a new one. <laughs> so the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liners, I mean I swatched them definitely in my purple video. I'm not sure if I swatched them in my blue video but wow you know these are a favourite product. They quite often go on sale by the way. You can quite often pick them up for like £13 rather than 16 which I think is quite good. One of these will last you a very long time, like over a year, because you use such a small amount. I've taken the stopper out just to swatch it, just to get a nice big swatch. This is a green reflect, it's got a little bit of pink in there as well. It is the most beautiful Urban Decay glitter I've ever used. That's how I managed to finish a whole one up, which is weird because I never pan things really, like ever finish things up, but wow. Have I used this to death? Do I wish I'd used it today? Yes, but I wanted to use an affordable glitter on my liner. But anyway, stunning. Highly recommend distortion to every single person and their dog because it's the best. Or their cat. A lot of you have cats. Moving on to palettes, one that I did, did definitely just watch in my blue video. My words aren't coming. It's because I try and do these videos really quickly and then I get all mm, tongue tied. Urban Decay Moon Dust and in particular the shade Lightyear. This is stunning. I mean, again, I feel like I can't really swatch Moon Dust to its full potential for you because it's more of a topper. So if you do any kind of eye look, you're just going to press this over the top. You don't need a glitter glue and it just goes on so beautifully. Like, say if you did like a black smoky eye and you just wanted to jazz it up, you could pat this on top. Oh my gosh, I need to try that next. I think I'm just crap at black smoky eyes. Anyway, this shade is stunning. I'm not sure if you can buy it in a single. Again, I'll try and link it if you can, but the Moon Dust palette is a favorite palette for all of the different shades, but the green in there is truly stunning. This next one, I think you could tell me, Melissa, that is not green, but what else is turquoise? Turquoise is green, right? It's kind of green blue. I had to swatch it. This is a Kaleidos Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise and like I said it could technically be blue. In fact when I'm looking at it now it's kind of blue but when I like shift it's kind of dual chrome. It's kind of blue green. You know what turquoise is. Anyway I'm swatching it so get over it. Wow that was mean. Sorry. This is a stunning colour and these Kaleidos palettes are very very good quality. They are, I think they come from, I think it's Canada or America but they are made in China but the brand is from Canada or America. Very, very good quality. Not super expensive, not ma massively cheap, but not super expensive. Very good quality. Look at that shade. I mean, how can you say no to that? You probably can. I don't think you can. And then I actually have another Kaleidos, which is the Futurism 1 Sci-Fi Green. This is way more of like an olive toned green. I'm pretty sure I used this in a video. And this is actually very similar to the Melt Smoke, uh, not Smokestack, Gemini palette but just not as many options. This is a really stunning olive green and I'm swatching all of these dry, by the way, um, apart from that blush tribe one. And I think if you like kind of murky, boggy, mossy, olivey, khaki greens, you'd really like this palette, but this particular shade in it is stunning. I think it does have a name. I've lost the name sheet, um, so I can't tell you the name, but it's the olive green metallic in the palette and is it not Gorgina? I think a lot of you have picked up those Kaleidos palettes and I don't really use them enough. I think they're so small they get lost in my drawer. Anyway, next up is a palette that I bought purely for the green shade in it and I bought it because it was on sale. It's the Dose of Colours times I Love Sara E palette. I got this ages ago on Beauty Bay and I got it for the green and because I love the quality of my Friendcation palette. Dose of Colours shadows are pretty much some of the best eyeshadows out there. It's just, you know, that's just a fact in my opinion. <laughs> this doesn't have a name but it's obviously the green one in the middle is really 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 stunning. Dose of Colours know how to make metallics. I mean the mattes are out of this world and their metallics are out of this world and I think maybe... Mm, I feel like Dose of Colours need to put more money into creating palettes because I would probably buy them all because that is how good their, their shadows are. This is a really stunning deep deep green. It's got little particles of glitter in there. You don't need to use a glitter glue though. I just think it's beautiful and if you can get this palette on sale then I would recommend it but I don't know unless you love all six colours I maybe wouldn't pick it up. I mean that sounds bad but it's just like as, as a palette on its own it's a little hard to use because it's only got two like peach mattes and then the rest are metallic so for me it's a little hard to use. I use it with other palettes. Then we have a Colourpop palette. I hope this is still available. I'm not sure if it is. This is... I'm, I'm focused aren't I? 
This is also an I Love Sada E collab through my eyes with ColourPop. This is a great palette. I really like this palette as a whole. I think the whole thing is stunning. Very good quality as well. But the shade in here called Emerald Dream is absolutely lovely. It's one of the shades in this, it's pr pretty much the shade that made me buy the palette. And it's got a deep matte green that you can help blend out with. This is a great palette, like overall, would recommend. But yeah, this green is stunning. I mean, look at it. It's a lovely emerald green color, as the name would suggest. It swatches really well, it goes on the eye really well. But if you're looking for a really good ColourPop palette, this is probably the first one I would recommend, like, out of them all, because I think it is truly wonderful. I've only got two left. I've only got two left. This will probably be the longest in the swatch videos. I think I've probably swatched the most. This is a controversial one, isn't it? Like, subculture. And when you see it open, look how much I've used this. That's how much I love this palette. I don't really reach it now, but I've loved this palette. The shade in it is called Electric. It is stunning. I've severely hit pan on it, as you can see, so it's kind of hard for me to swatch. Um, but it's a really lovely kind of... Ah... Uh, it's like a sheer topper. It's a weird formula and it's not necessarily my favourite formula from ABH but in this palette this shade works really really well. I'm sure a lot of you have subculture already and maybe you've also hit pan on electric but yeah I mean I think the formula has improved since they made this palette but I still really like that shade. I love it on the inner corner on me. It's a little dark but it does still work and I don't know to me like my subculture just it's to me kind of signifies the start of my YouTube channel because I used it a lot back then I feel and I just yeah it's got kind of a special place in my heart even though I don't reach for it much at all anymore and I could not not include my Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette I really love this one and actually this shade is really similar to that one from the subculture it's just nicer <laughs> I think Huda's metallics are stunning and she's got like a few different formulas I feel of metallics this is one of the very very foiled ones it's the top right hand left hand corner the really light one it is yeah definitely a more foiled finish it is absolutely gorgeous probably one of the best quality metallics that i'm swatching of all of these and i know who does kind of divisive but to me she can make really good eyeshadows and again swatching it dry and just look how good it goes on and when you compare it to that subculture swatch the electric shade i feel like the one from subculture looks really sad but it's only because I've put it beside such a stunning one from Huda. This palette is excellent, like I've said, in the purple one. The um, Obsessions palettes are a really good way to try out her brand without spending too much money. Because they're still expensive, but they're not that expensive for nine shades from like a high-end brand. That is it. That is all of my swatches. Let me know what you think. I'll hopefully have inserted... Um... Oh my goodness, no. I wiped my swatches off before I started filming this part. So I can't show you them with the flash on. I'm sorry. Had to make a boob in some way. Yeah, that is Beautiful Greens. I'm sure I've forgotten some. I'm sure I have. You'll be shouting at your screens. But what can you do? I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you want to see next in the swatch series. Um, I don't know if I should do like maybe golds and silvers and just like holographics and stuff like that or what. Let me know. And that's it for me. I'm going to piss off. And I really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, leave me a comment and subscribe and I'll catch you, I hope, in my next video. Bye!